I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my snapshot report for you, Scorpio for week of July 13th. Okay, so first up, we've got um, right in your sign, Saturn, which is back there for a short stay, um, going to be in a square with Venus. Now let's have a look on this off. Earlier in the week, on the on the Tuesday, so with these two, uh, it can make you feel a little bit unsettled with love or at work because Venus, even though it's the sign of love and money does sit in your solar 10th house so there can be some um, let's see some adjustments or some uncertainty around what's going down at work particularly with someone perhaps their co-worker or, or superior and it could also put some uncertainty going forward on a financial level okay so um, just keep that in mind but there's a lot happening this week I would encourage you to go ahead and listen to the weekly overview report it's a 10 minute report uh, we do have a lot of confronting um, uh, aspects this week challenging aspects a lot of aspects that are going to help you just push through and change your life and I do go through them uh, you know more in intensely, uh, comprehensively, for want of another word, uh, on that report. So um, as you know, I only, you know, do these weekly reports. I try to stick to, you know, a couple of minutes. So it's like a quick sort of grab that people can come in and get. So have a look at the weekly report. I did make an error towards the end of the report where I mentioned um, Mars and Venus conjunct. It actually should be Mars and um, Mercury. Those to the symbols for those two planets look very similar. All right, so back to this week and your chart. So Uranus sits there, slow moving planet in your solar sixth house. This is very much to do with your productivity, your day to day work productivity, very much to do with balance in your life in the in the way that um, you it forces you to look after yourself and not spend all of your time, um, you know, working around the clock. Um, so there are two squares this week with Uranus, one with the Sun and one with um, Mercury. Now both of these planets as well as Mars, which is your co-ruler, uh, is sitting in your solar ninth house. So this is you're in the middle of doing some study or taking on some extra educational uh, areas of life then there could be some frustrations around that this week if you're traveling or dealing with people overseas there could be some frustrations around that and and the same if you've got a legal case going on um, but it's not all bad news because what happens this week is it really just uh, provides the trigger and provides the energy to really unstick things okay so if something has been like stuck in a groove or sort of stagnant then all this energy because we've got a couple of uh, oppositions with Pluto one with uh, with uh, Saturn uh, not Saturn I'm sorry one with Mars and the other one with Mercury um, and that's very much to do around the way that you communicate so we've got a couple of oppositions uh, squares and uh, conjunction so you know, all put together there is also a new moon okay so it's like what happens this week I feel that things start to break down so they can build up so I don't want you to get in a panic at the start of the week if things don't seem to be going the way that you thought or you have to be a bit more flexible or adjustable with your schedule because guess what it's gonna work out and it's going to work out to your advantage now let's not forget with um, business you still have Jupiter even though there's not any direct aspects that this particular Jupiter you still have the energy of Jupiter sitting there in your solar 10th uh, house um, so uh, you know that really puts a nice rounding vibe and you know positive energy uh, on things there and I'm just having a look at you uh, more per the more personal side of your life there is a very nice trine between 
Neptune, which is a planet of imagination and intuitiveness and also romance, uh, with um, Mercury. So, you know, this really just gives you the inspiration to sort of, you know, change your life and take whatever happens and see the blessing in it because, you know what, there's always, there's always another side for things. And, and so the, really the, uh, the message this week is to don't make any quick assumptions or reactions. Okay, wait to see what happens. Love and luck to you. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.